Now, for more insight, let's join. We are joined in the studio by our current affairs commentator, Mr. Tang. Uh, Mr. Tang, welcome to our program. Uh, the KMT leader Hong Siu Chu wraps up uh, her visit to the mainland today. Then, what do you think are the major highlights? Obviously, uh, Hong Siu Chu has accomplished all the scheduled tasks to perform on mainland China. She visited Nanking to pay respect to Dr. Sun Yat-sen, the founding father of KMT and uh, ROC. Right. Uh, the next thing she did was very significant, is to meet General Secretary Xi Jinping in Beijing. They had chances to uh, exchange views thoroughly, uh, enthusiastically, and she also mentioned the specific areas in which mainland China can assist Taiwan to grow further. Mm -hmm. Of course, that discussion is very fruitful. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, uh, in the last two days, just this meeting conference uh, uh, forum finished this morning. Right. Uh, the two parties come together mm -hmm. with uh, 300 plus uh, uh, participants mm -hmm. discuss issues, different areas. Mm -hmm. On the mainland side, of course, Xi Jinping has made his uh, standing very clear, loud and clear, black and white, when he met uh, uh, Hong Xiuzhu uh, in their conference, stating the six-point proposals. Mm -hmm. That is to say that. Uh, the acceptance of the uh, 92 consensus mm -hmm. is a must for political dialogue and future cooperation. Then there's no, no future whatsoever for Taiwan independence. And people on both sides, Taiwan Street, have to work together in various areas and also take advantage of the common bond that is the traditional cultural uh, heritage and bondage. First of all, to build the country strong as a, as a joint task uh, across Taiwan Street. Uh, at the same time, of course, when uh, when uh, Xi Jinping made his point clear, he sent a strong message to Taiwan, mm -hmm. to CPC, to the outside world, that mm -hmm. the future of China depends on the cooperation on both sides. Right. It's, it's the mutual responsibility that do the job together. Mm -hmm. Talking about the future of the cross-strait relations, uh, you are from Taiwan, Mr. Ying, uh, Ying Nianzang. Uh, what can you expect from the future relations between uh, China, uh, between mainland and Taiwan. Uh, well, first of all, how would you assess the current situation? For example, at long last, I do believe reunification in China would happen. Uh, Dr. Xi Chen, back in uh, 1924, when he passed through Japan on his way to, to, to Peking, mm -hmm. he made a statement uh, uh, in front of the reporters. He's saying right. that unification is ex expectation mm -hmm. of all people in China. If a chief enjoy the state of happiness, right. otherwise misery mm -hmm. and the suffering. Mm -hmm. I think this particular uh, objective is still remain to be accomplished. Right. As you know, many China and Taiwan separate for almost 20 years, 70 years now. So they each, each build its own system, political system, social conditions, and, and its practices. So there are differences to be worked out. Mm -hmm. So it's important, I believe, for both parties to work as a team, uh, make suggestions, uh, and consider the common destiny is to build China strong. Right. When, uh, when uh, Dr. Sun Yat-sen passed away 81 years ago uh, in Beijing, his last words were actually, peace, struggle, and save China. What he meant to say that this is a task still way to be uh, finished by mm -hmm. the followers. Mm -hmm. by, by that he meant to say that nowadays, People on both sides of the street have to treat each other peacefully, enthusiastically, friendly, and work together mm -hmm. strongly mm -hmm. to build China a nation of freedom, democracy, mm -hmm. and great strength. Mm -hmm. That is to say, of the people, by the people, for the people, as such. Well, but as you just said, that the future of the cross strait relations lies in the cooperation, but not separation. All right, All thank right. you very much, uh, Mr. Gregory Nian our current commentator.